What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. We're going to go over the patch notes for the recent release of the version 3.4 update for Fortnite which includes a new game mode, vending machines and a few other things too. But before we get into that people as per usual I am giving away 2800 V-Bucks to win. Simply subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to turn notifications on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Winners are contacted via YouTube direct message so good luck everybody. Okay so let's get into it and let's start with vending machines. Uh, note state, sweets you want without the sugar rush, materials go in, loot comes out. Got materials to spare, spend them at vending machines. Now found in many locations across the island, each vending machine offers three different deals, rarity and items chosen at random. Vending machines have now been added to the game. They are found in various locations around the map. Each vending machine will randomly select a rarity. All items sold will match that rarity. Items found in a common white version will cost 100 materials. Items found in an uncommon green version will cost 200 materials. Items found in a rare blue version will cost 300 materials. Items found in an epic purple version will cost 400 materials. Items found in a legendary gold version will cost 500 materials. Each vendor machine will sell three items, one for each material type wood, stone and metal. It will cycle through each of the three items on a short timer to switch items faster, hit the vending machine with your pickaxe. There is no purchase limit to the items available. So get vending people. I actually can't wait to jump on and try this out. It's going to be pretty fun. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I said it in a video the other day. I think this will more or less balance out the actual weapons across the board for people who... Because I actually suffer. Like, I go into a battle. I seem to run into people every time with scars and things like that. Where me, I'm using my standard rubbish or so rifle and I just do not stand a chance. I think putting vendor machines across the board, across the map will help balance weapons. I really do. Now let's check out the notes on the new limited time game mode High Explosives version 2. Here's what they state. Limited time mode High Explosives version 2 general. No explosive weapons removed. Friendly fire is off. 1 minute 50 seconds shaved off wait times for first 4 storms. 20 seconds of the first, 30 seconds of the second, 30 of the third and 30 of the fourth. Supply drops, spawn 50% more consumables, spawn 100% more materials, have a 50% chance of dropping a legendary guided missile, epic, floor loot adjustments, material spawn 60, 90, 120 per pickup for woodstone and metal. Materials drop rate increased by 50%, ammo drop rate increased by 50%, impulse grenade added to floor loot, Trap drop rate lowered by 50%, other loot adjustments, number of rockets found per drop increased, on the floor 4 to 6, chests 8, supply drops 12, boxes 16 and llamas 20. Grenade, impulse grenade and remote explosive drop rate plus 100%. Bandages drop rate minus 50%, make it and slurp drop rate plus 50%. Spike trap disabled, launch pads and campfire spawn at 1.1 ratio. Rocket launcher drop rate plus 100%, guided missile drop rate plus 100%, resource gathering rates adjusted, increase most wood resources values by 10%, reduce variance of resources from objects, was plus slash minus 30%, now plus slash minus 15%. This meant that an object with a base 100 resource value could have been anywhere between 70 and 130 resources. Now it would give between 85 and 115. This does not affect limited time game modes. Okay. Now I can't actually wait to jump on and play this. I really didn't take interest in version 1. But if you guys did, let me know how it was down below within that comment section. Also, there are notes and changes to certain weapons. Many weapons now have first shot accuracy. Weapons included suppressed submachine gun, tactical submachine gun, pistol, suppressed pistol, revolver, hand cannon, assault rifle and burst assault rifle. When aiming, standing still and the weapon was not fired recently, the first shot would be 100 percent accurate. When this is active the aim reticle will be completely closed to indicate this state. Damage fall off has been adjusted for weapons with first shot accuracy. Suppressed submachine gun and tactical submachine gun fall off begins at 24 meters. Damage reduced to 80 percent at 35 meters. Damage reduced to 65 percent at 50 meters. Pistol and suppressor pistol 
fall off begins at 28 meters, reduced damage to 85% at 47.5 meters, reduced damage to 75% at 70 meters, and reduced damage to 65% at 250 meters. Revolver and hand cannons, fall off begins at 35 meters, Damage reduced to 70% at 60 meters and damage reduced to 40% at 85 meters. Assault rifle and burst assault rifles. Fall off begins at 50 meters. Damage reduced to 80% at 75 meters. Damage reduced to 65% at 100 meters. Headshot damage multiplier reduced to 2 times for weapons with first shot accuracy was 2.5 times. So guys, some decent changes in the right direction there. Bullet Bloom though is still going to be an issue for many, many people. If Bullet Bloom wasn't an issue, and I believe actually Epic are aware of this, I mean this first shot accuracy wouldn't be added. But let's see if they ever address Bullet Bloom. But people, where do you stand on Bullet Bloom? Do you suffer from it? I actually do quite often, I really do. It's a thing now I just get on with when I'm playing Fortnite. I mean, it affects me, but it doesn't really get me that pissed like it normally did. But yep guys that is it for another video and the notes, these are the notes for the version 3.4 update for Fortnite which you should have had already. But guys I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like it really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the